So this project started close to a year ago. I was in, uh, in the studio this particular day. I wasn't painting, I was doing paperwork or things that you have to do. And this young lady came into the studio. And this was Lauren. Who was Lauren? Lauren there. And she said to me, um, we would like Ringwood Art Society to auspice ourselves. And so I said, auspice? And who's ourselves? Ourselves was herself, was herself and Lindsay. And they wanted to get, um, I said, so, so auspice, what does that, what does that mean? I had no idea. So I had to go to Dr. Google. And it says, with the protection or support of an organization, or kindly patronage and guidance. Okay, so we got that underway. Um, so then she she talked to me about what they wanted to do, and she read, and this is Lauren, and Lauren read to me a poem. And, I st and she sh showed me images of the work that uh, Lindsay was, was doing. And she said that we want to apply for a grant from the council, and therefore we need somebody to auspice us. So I'd only been president for a short time and um, I wasn't certain, should we do this? What's the risk involved in this? Have we done this before? So with a bit of trepidation, I said, well, look, come back and see me, the two of you, and they did. They came back and they did a fantastic presentation to me about what they were going to do. And I think it was their enthusiasm as well that made me say, okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and do this. And then, of course, you get into the, the paperwork between Council, the New Art Society, and Lindsay, um, the number of emails going backwards and forth. And a call out to, to Matty, she was very, very helpful in all of that process. But anyway, it got to the stage that in late July, they were presented with the the grant uh, at uh, Karalika in the awards presentation ceremony. So their funds created what you see today. So the painting, as you look at it, it's very exuberant. Um, the colours, the colours really stand out, particularly in this typical Australian grey, green, blue environment. You can't help but miss that. It's beautifully painted, lovely detail in there, and then the, the poem, you have to read the poem a couple of times, and once you've done that, you can start to recognise the connection, which I think is terrific. So Lauren is going to read that later on, so just bear that in mind. So really, Lindsay and Lauren have been thanking me and the Art Society for supporting them but I'd like to thank you too for coming to us to 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 show some faith in us helping you so we're delighted with that and we'd like to see more of your work in the future and if you're up for any more grants come and see us <laughs> um, so that's it for me so I'll pass over to the mayor councillor Rob Steen thank you very much we are meeting on the land of the traditional owners. I'd like to pay our respects to elders past and present. I'd also like to welcome my council colleagues, Carly Spears, Linda Hancock, Paul McDonald, and his wife, Kathy. Um, we're very fortunate in Maroondah that we do have an opportunity occasionally to um, recognize different artists. And uh, of course, one of the things that we're very proud of is being able to um, award grants for various organizations. Um, of course, it's not our money, it's ratepayers' money, so we're very uh, astute to that. But um, as a council, we're very conscious that uh, arts are very important. Uh, as Gordon talked about, the Art Society is located down at the Fed Estate. We're very proud of our Federation Estate. Um, uh, and those of us who have been on council for a long period of time probably spend more time down there than anywhere else on council, quite frankly. And if there's one thing that we like, it's a good art opening. Uh, we're very proud of being able to do those quite regularly, and I, I know uh, we've got our mayoral art uh, exhibition coming up uh, shortly, yeah. so uh, I know next month there'll, there'll be that, uh, which is an acquisition piece, but of course more about it uh, today. Um, last year we did have the grant, the Arts and Cultural Grant, and it's wonderful to see the project in person, 
and of course Ringwood Park Lake is a very special place for uh, for art uh, as well so uh, it means that the public get to just wander past and enjoy it without actually having to make a special trip specifically for arts so uh, we, we're looking forward to our residents being able to enjoy it um, of course one of the aims of the arts and cultural grants program is to enhance and celebrate local identity through high quality arts projects and of course Blossoms of Life is a perfect example of this the stunning detail of the painting and the evocative language in the poem combined to make a bold and lively celebration for our native flora, perfectly positioned to welcome visitors to our wonderful park. The project's also been a wonderful opportunity of collaboration between Lynn and uh, Lauren, who worked together to explore the themes and create the final piece, along with the Arts, uh, the Art Society, who also, as we've already heard from Gord. It's fantastic that the, uh, the program has been able to facilitate this sort of partnership enabling both of these artists to learn from each other and work with the wider local artistic community. So I'd like to congratulate you, Lynn and Lauren, who have created something very special, and I look forward to our community being able to enjoy this piece on their walks and picnics in the past. So I'd like to hand over to, to Lynn, who'll tell us a little bit more about it. So thank you, Lynn. Hi, everyone. <laughs> thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Gordon. Thank you, everyone, for coming today. Um, the weather is not like perfect today, but with you are here with us today is more than perfect. I am Xing Ling. Um, you can call me Ling Zi if that's easier. I um, just want to give you a brief for the project and, uh, of what we are doing. Um, so a year ago, I met Lauren at my solo exhibition, which was supported by Morona City Council too. So. Um, we met each other and we have mutual interest in arts and poetry and we have a small wish that we want to do something bigger, brighter, joyful for more people to enjoy. And so then that was the start and that was the idea of the project of Blossom of Life. So 10 months is the time that I spent in project management and 195 hours and 75 days is the time that I spend actual artwork a lifetime sunshine but that's not our biggest achievement what we envision is if you walk past by the artwork and it brings us bring your smiles on your face maybe after a long day of work or if you enjoy your afternoon walk that smile is our greatest achievement I'm going to hand the microphone over to our talent poet Lauren. She wrote the poem for um, the whole project. And thank you for coming. Really appreciate it. Hello everyone. Thank you for coming. Um, I'm going to read the poem Blossom Stella, which is on our art book. Inspire, grow, bloom, empower. We look to nature and see her unfold beautifully hour by hour. Orange blossoms unfurl and dance, vitality within, creation water trance. Hungry bees and birds yearn for nectar, anonymously visiting, collecting for themselves and others. The artist and the poet observe from away, smiling at each other in the precious scene they have to appreciate this fine day. Upon her canvas, the artist steps a spot of white against green as contrast. The poet knows her pencil thoughtfully. A phrase emerges from her mind. She scores it down quickly. Together, they'll create a scene of sumptuous colours and phrases which capture a moment longly. The duet of vivid blossoms, the artist and the poet, friends creating so joyously. Just a final reminder to everyone, we got really well exercise in flyers and a for you to take if you love if you love art or you're an artist and stuff. And um uh it's free artist practice. So I hope you enjoy our work um anytime and uh please don't feel shy to come over to practice. Thank you.